Good morning. It is November 6th of 2023. Uh, today's the second day of my rutcation, rut vacation. Um, I got the video yesterday uploaded by now. Um, not a whole lot of action going on yesterday. Um, today I'm going to go sit in a location I've had really good rut action before. Um, it's just on this shelf. I actually have a video uh, setting the tree stand in this spot. There's just a shelf that bucks always follow these does on. So uh, it's 5.15 right now. Uh, sun comes up 6.59. So I'm going to sneak in there, get my camera mount tied to the tree or ratcheted on there or whatever. Uh, harness all hooked up, everything good to go. And uh, see if we can get the target buck to roll in there today captain hook or some other giant so stick with me All right, so I finished up my hunt, and uh, man, it is super foggy out this morning. It's like 9.30 right now, and it is just crazy, but it's super nice out. Um, but I saw a few does off in the distance and kind of up on the hill, at the top of the hill in front of me, and uh, one below me on the logging road, but none really came up in front. No bucks following them, and I climbed down out of the stand, and uh, of course, as I get down, one's coming. And I got a video of her, kind of, you can see her off. You, you can barely see her, but I'll put that video in. But uh, now what I'm going to do is I've got my food plot up here, which I didn't think it looked as good. I didn't even think it looked halfway as good as what it does right now. So I put a camera up there the other day and the video I uploaded. So I'm actually thinking I'm going to hang a stand up there really quickly this afternoon uh maybe hunt it one night this week i have the whole week off for the rut so i like to set up there one evening see what comes through but okay it is 12 13 uh hit the gym whatever got all that done so now it's middle of the day or so i'm actually going to go up to the 10 acres get rid of the cabin and i'm going to take this little my truck's a disaster uh, Milwaukee leaf blower uh, and blow off my trails because uh, it is just crazy loud getting in and out of stands and uh, I'd rather go in one time and blow them off make a bunch of noise one time instead of spooking deer every time I go in and out so I'll do a little more explaining on that in a little bit I'm actually gonna make a whole separate video on why I think you should do it so uh,
All right, as you can see, I got a path blown up to both blinds and I'm gonna head down to the house and hang up the tree stand and change the card in that camera up there. I made it up to the food plot. One trip this side to carry everything plus the tripod. Whew, this was, this was terrible. Got to find a tree first. All right, it's been probably 45 minutes or so. Finally got the stand up. I, I really like this a lot. Um, I will flip the camera around and show you what I got going on here. Here's the food plot. So I actually planned on hanging a stand in this very tree a few months ago. And I never did just because I didn't think this food plot would turn out at least halfway of that, which it, it's not good by any means, but it's definitely more than I thought it would be. And there are a lot of, there's a lot of deer sign in it. So kind of my plan is uh, uh, I need to get aggressive with Captain Hook, uh, this big drop time buck I'm on. So my plan is to sit here uh, Wednesday night, so two two nights, and I, I'm just gonna get up here, wait till about dark, and just rattle like crazy up in here, hoping he comes in. And I imagine he would come back from this way, which I've got pretty good shots down in through this way. So we'll, we'll have to see. We'll have to see, but th this could be a great spot. And next year, I really want to develop this food plot into something way more than it is. But uh, so here we are. There's the stand. I don't think it sticks out too awful bad, but uh, from here ish to there's about 30 yards. So not a bad shot. I think 30 is just about the farthest. I there, I well, I actually think back here is like 30. Yep, I'm probably 27 or something, but 30 yards is about the farthest shot I'm going to get. So I'm pretty comfortable there. So uh, that's good. Uh, but next year, this spring, I'm going to extend this back this way quite a ways and then up in here and take that back a little bit, get it closer to that stand just to buzz. But uh, I'm ready to pull the cart out of here. I'm all tore up and destroyed from thorns i mean it's just i should have wore a hoodie or something it's stupid thick up here but so i'm gonna grab this card we're gonna go to the house and we're gonna check it So I just flipped through pictures really quickly. Uh, actually, I'm pretty impressed with that for only being like two, not even two days, like a day and a half. So I'm actually pretty impressed with that. Uh, little goofy buck chasing a doe up in there and does. So I do think tomorrow night I am gonna go sit up there and see what happens, do some rattling, maybe get something to come in there. But uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. We've got another one coming today too. So peace.